coming live from an airstream somewhere in Tornado Alley, bringing you the people, places, and stories from the Panhandle to the Red River. This is your Only in Oklahoma show. And welcome to the show. Today we're discussing one of the best haunts in the country, and it's right here in Tulsa, Oklahoma. And after the break, we're discussing one of our favorite Tulsans. I'm Brett. And I am Harley. And the hits keep coming. We're still waiting. You know, we we didn't hit the 500 mark for subscribers to the YouTube page. So So I don't have to go into a hot air balloon. No, you dodged a bullet. But we're still the, the PBS... Fall, what is it? Remember the the telethon they used to do to like raise money to keep Mister Rogers on the air. Remember those? Yeah. We're the it, the phones are still ringing. I mean, well, there's the phones are still able to ring. They're just not ringing. We need your donations. But we don't need your donations. We need your subscriptions to YouTube. Yes, we do need those. But I mean, other than that, I mean, we're hot on the trail of being kind of successful. I like it. So. Kind of successful. Yeah. You, you do I'm realize. Being modest. I'm being modest. You do realize. What? That over the last year, if you only take into account our Facebook page, mm-hmm. we've reached 1.6 million people on Facebook. Does it feel like it? It does. Well, I mean, when you put the numbers to it, you know, the the, the back office stuff is a little bit easier to access now. You don't have to have two-part authentication to find out how many people you're talking to or reaching. If you would, you have even imagined that it was almost two million people. Yeah, on just what? That's just one thing. One we, thing. One avenue that we reach out to people yeah. on, and it's almost two million people. Well, you know, and we can't. <laughs> I, I, I think like TikTok is close to the same. Yeah, we're getting there. Yeah, TikTok. It's funny, you know, I, I sent you that stuff on TikTok. I mean, there's so many things that we've kind of guessed on. And I don't know if that it's because we're pretty good at what we do, you know. But some of the you know some of the numbers that we've kind of guesstimated on, you know, our age brackets not surprising. There is a few, a small percentage of the eighteen to twenty five year olds. But doing the math, I have a twenty five year old. You have an eighteen year old. <laughs> so that's probably where where the foot traction is coming from from the eighteen to twenty five market. But Dude, we've got about a 20-year span, 35 to 55. Yeah, we own that. We own it. If you're if you're between the ages of 35 and 55 and you live in the state of Oklahoma, you listen to us. There's a damn good chance. I'm sorry. Brett made some sort of agreement with the internet last week. There's a dang good chance. Right. There's a dang good chance that you have seen one of our videos. Uh-huh. Heard one of our podcasts. Yeah. Seen one of our posts on the internet. Something. I got stopped in the break room at work. I'm getting a I'm getting a drink from the drink machine and I hear, Hey, you know, I kind of turn a little bit because you're in a break room, there's other people in there. You don't know if it's a hey you or a hey someone else. Right. So I turn around to the guy who's probably in the who's probably easily in the twenty five to thirty range. He's like, by the way, I watch your reviews. I like your reviews on TikTok. I was like, oh, that's cool. What's your name? He's like, Richard. I'm meeting people of all different shape, sizes, ages. We appreciate you. We really do. We do. And I'm surprised that our, you know, in the past, I'm just going to say it. The analytics have always kind of leaned a little bit heavier towards women. And I think it's because women, I'm, am I generalizing if I say I think women use social media more? Honestly, I don't know. I, I hardly ever see anybody that's not looking at their phone anymore. So. Right. When I was kind of shocked that the, you know, it kind of gives you a breakdown male to female. I mean, it's right. We're right there. It's 50-50. It's pretty close, yeah. So, which is kind of cool. It's nice to see some bros, you know, have some bros in the building. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know much about begonias. I don't know, I don't know how to level with, you know, I don't know how to level the playing field. <laughs> it's just nice. It's nice to have a nice co-ed cohesion. In our social media. I I think it's... I really appreciate that we have a good mix of listeners. Like, the, the people that listen to... I've always worried... Well, this is... You know, these are a couple of dudes. Mm-hmm. Who cares what they think? Right. And so I kind of always thought that there was a real good chance that the majority of people, you know, were people who were kind of like us. Listen, did I say... In, if I didn't keep it in the show, did I say, say anything back there that's going to get me canceled? Anything back where? When I was talking about the 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 gender 
percentages. I hope so. And if not, I'll edit it to where you do. Okay, good. Um, but yeah, things are looking good. I mean, I, you know, we're bouncing all over. I mean, we can't talk about it. We're been. We could talk. Gosh, I feel like it's a blown opportunity. Are we doing it? When are we going to talk about it? The Savoy. We have a video coming out about the Savoy. Well, yeah, that's true. We do have a video coming out about the Savoy. So if you're shape. unaware, if you live under a rock, there has been a metamorphosis happening on Main Street or Chickasha Avenue Yep, in Chickasha, Oklahoma. Mm-hmm. And a big part of that is one guy. One man. He's opened up multiple businesses down there, but one that's just open, soft open. Uh-huh. Uh, that we, we did a video. Yep. Which will be coming out we'll in the next few up. days. Yep. Um, it's a barbecue joint. But is it? Uh, it's, it, uh, I don't even know where to start, how to where start. Where do you start? Everything is smoked. Everything is smoked. I think they smoked the water. Like, everything is smoked. That tea, that sweet tea I had? I think it was smoked. Smoked sweet tea. Can you imagine how good that would be? Wow. But we went way off course on this. Yeah. Normally we go to a barbecue joint. We're eating ribs. Yeah. We went, we, ag- we went against everything we know about barbecue. And it paid off. When you go in for the smell of barbecue and you leave with the taste of pastrami. So here's the thing. If you look on Google right now, the Savoy doesn't exist. It doesn't exist. But it is on Chickasha Avenue between 1st and 2nd. On uh, Chickasha Avenue in downtown Chickasha, Oklahoma, if you want a completely different experience. Mm -hmm. For starters, we can just start with the building. The building used to be a bank or a hotel, I'm not sure, from like the late 1800s. Well, and I believe the second floor of the building at one time may or may not have been a house of ill. I don't know anything about that. It's before my time. But... The building is gorgeous. They gorgeous. kept oh, yeah. all of the all of the character from the building. They kept it all there. If you're anywhere near Chickasha, I'm telling you, stop at the Savoy. Yeah, it's it will. I think it will exceed your expectations. And if things are going according to plan, it's going to be on your. It'll be. I promise the first exit to Chickasha. If it's not on your destination, it needs to be because there's things going on down at Towns End. I think they're going to flip the script on Chickasha. I think you're right. But we do have a show to do, Brett. We do have another enough, script to flip. Enough of our shenanigans. Shenanigans, and, yes. Yes. So today's show is about Oklahoma's best haunted house. We talk a lot of best with this a question not, mark. This is not me saying best. Hauntworld.com. That's a big deal. Rated Hex House as one of... The 15 best haunted houses in the world. The The whole damn world. That's a big, that's tall cotton. Fox News ranked Hex House as one of America's top 10 haunted houses. Gosh. But you you may be asking why, and I think I know the answer. Why one of the best haunted houses in the world is in Tulsa? Is in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Because it has a great... 100% 100% fact backstory. Does it have anything to do with the blood sacrifices at Oral Roberts University? Did I say that? Allegedly. Allegedly. I don't know if there, I don't know if any of that is, has been verified, validated. But Hex House was inspired by a true story from some shady Tulsa history. I'm going to say this, and I love, I, every time we talk a Tulsa show, I love Tulsa. In fact, I was, I wasn't in Owasso uh, for pleasure, but we're going to do a show on Owasso. I love Tulsa, but we all know, hell, Oklahoma City has it. There's a dark underbelly. Tulsa's really, yeah, they've got a dark, creepy hex house underbelly. <laughs> <laughs> so the the story actually starts in 1944. There was an investigation by police that revealed a small casket buried in a in the backyard of a Tulsa house, and two young women who had been under hypnotic or occult control for seven years. Jiminy Christmas. I did that for nine. The Hex House was... The Hex House case... Oh, that was the X House. Sorry, not the Hex House. I'm sorry. Go ahead. The Hex House <laughs> case is real. It's not a Halloween tale. And somebody went to prison for this stuff. Yeah. 
Carol Ann Smith had abducted slash enslaved two younger women, Nell Willetta and Virginia Evans, forced them to live in an unheated basement of the house at 10 East 21st Street and turn over their paychecks to her. I wonder if that's what... Carol Ann! Go to the light, Carol Ann! Poltergeist is named after her. I doubt it. I don't know. No, she's a sweet little girl that just so happened to be like the devil's playground. So but probably... These two young women told authorities that they believed that they would receive a great reward in heaven that Smith referred to as the big payoff. Hmm. But Smith and the two young women had buried a casket in the backyard in the middle of the ne- <clears throat> in the middle of the night and somebody saw him doing it. Police investigated. They discovered the two young women living in the basement. The two young women living either in the basement or in the servants' quarters and sleeping on orange crates without blankets while Smith was living in luxury, dude. She had everything, every pair of shoes, every perfume, Mm. and these women were basically sleeping on rocks. In her basement. (laughs) In her basement and (laughs) signing over their paychecks. But when when the police investigated, they found a dog carcass buried in the in a cardboard box really yes and a small coffin buried below that after that it all happened the hex house itself had be kind of had a little bit of a following people would come to you know like visit the hex house Mm -hmm. and you just have random people standing out on the street especially around halloween uh, for years after the case had already been settled Uh, But the house was torn down in 1975, and the site became a parking lot and eventually the site of some apartments. Oh. But today, you can step into that storyline. The Hex House Haunted Attraction is an intense, multi-element, walk-through haunted house attraction that is based around the original case from 1944. Dude. Kind of like what they did with Nawada's Asylum, where it's kind of based around an actual thing. Right. There's a kernel of truth There's to the There's a kernel story. of truth to it, which adds to the mystique and the, the mystery and the and the terror as well. And listen, you don't get... I don't know if people know this, but Haunt World is a big deal. And it's we've got a couple of different... Actually, we've got a couple of haunted houses in Oklahoma that have been listed on Haunt World. Mm-hmm. Uh, but... Hex House, I think, has been on there multiple times. Because I feel like when we first talked about Hex House, which is probably four years ago, around this time. Right. They were on a similar list, if not that list. So, I, I don't know. I don't think I don't think the game is rigged. I It has everything you want. It does. And honestly, this is you're, you should not go expecting goofy props or, you know, movie scenes or whatever. They're trying to throw you into the deep end. Yeah, for sure. Like, totally altered reality, a lot darker than you would expect. And one of the things that everybody says is it's not predictable. Mm -hmm. That's the part that scares... I mean, that's the part that scares everybody is the fear of the unknown. Oh, absolutely. So the fact that they make it more unpredictable... Yeah, they pump it up. Yeah. But, honestly, you're going to be walking through... Flickering hallways and eerie rooms, but the storyline that they built into it from the original story, I think, just takes it to a different level. Oh yeah, for sure. It's almost like performance art with diapers. I, I think. <laughs> honestly, I still think that we need to do some a GoPro walkthrough with a just a face face shot and a forward shot yeah. combo. I think that would I think that would kill. Oh, it would be great. It's going to figure out how to do it. But we probably also need like a a filled diaper meter on oh, there yeah, as well. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. This thing, though, is not for kids. They actually don't allow people under the age, age of 12 mm-hmm. to even enter. But if you make it through the Hex House and you want more, apparently they have an extended extreme haunted attraction uh, based around zombies. So. If you, you know, if you make it all the way through and you're like, ah, I'm not scared enough yet. Right. <laughs> Let's go for seconds. You can experience double the terror. 
But uh, combo tickets are available. This does end this year, November 2nd. Oh. So you've got a couple extra bonus days. You know, and sometimes they'll even add a little few extra. I've seen some haunted houses do that, so be on the lookout. But I would say if you're going to get in there, the best time to do it's right now. Let's yeah, hit be the, honest. Hit the website. It's hexhouse.com. Easy to easy to remember. But this is um, right on Skelly Drive in Tulsa, Oklahoma. If you're interested, and honestly, I think you've got to be a special kind of person if this if if this is up your alley. I don't know if it's up my alley. No, I think you're too but much of a chicken. To definitely, do it. yeah. It's something I might consider. Yeah, bring it on. On a dare? Listen, okay, so speaking of dare, coworker came up to me today and goes, I'll pay you a dollar if you eat this. It was a Nestle Crunch bar, which I haven't eaten one of those in 30 years, that was whitened a little bit. He's like, it expired October 2nd. I was like, <laughs> he's like, I guess I'll bring you a dollar tomorrow. So I'm not scared of every dare. No, I don't think that you are. I think that you you are terrified and jump scared. I am j- Jump scares are, I just can't do it. And but water. I will. And heights. And water and heights. And Wait spiders? A but you know what? I jumped all over it. No, not spiders. Or snakes. I jumped all over going on a hot air balloon. You're the one that was... Oh, you yeah, were, no. You were, you were betting against the house. I agree that I'm probably more afraid of heights than you are. Yeah. But let's be honest. If you like had to stick your hand into three and a half inches of water, that hand, there was no. also a goldfish in... You would lose your shit. It was not a goldfish. And by the way, in case you're wondering who's who, he, Harley, is the one that just said the S word. Yes, I am afraid of heights. They scare me, scared the S word out of me. Yes. But Brett is terrified of water, and it literally doesn't matter if it's an inch and a half deep. Listen, here's the thing. I'm patting myself on the back. I was told not to say the doo-doo and the potty-potty words. At all, where I don't know how many minutes in. Let me look here. Let's check the time. We're almost 25 minutes in, and I'm as quiet as a church mouse. I will say that. On a I, Wednesday night. I will say that I edit the show. You, so you edit to make it make me sound good. I'll take out mine and add yours back from you'll put, previous you're actually, shows. <laughs> you'll actually paste yours where I'm. So, yes, and really throw them for a loop. But, uh, yeah, if you're interested, if you want to be scared, and inch and a half will Deep water isn't going to cut it for you. Then check out hexhouse.com. And after the break, have we found Tulsa's funniest son? I'm from Tulsa, and I'm a son. So a few years ago, I had to have a restoration to my house. When it burned down? When it burnt down. And one yes. of the hardest parts was, you know, you're going to fight with the insurance company because the insurance company is going to try to do it the cheapest way they can unless they can't avoid it. But the hardest part wasn't insurance, sure. They kept, they, I was kind of surprised at how quickly they stepped up. But it's finding a contractor, because there's fly-by-night contractors. Dude, drive down the road right now. They'll have a handwritten sign that says, got a roof with a <laughs> made out of Sharpie. If you can find a contractor that's worth the salt, yeah. he's probably too busy to help you. Well, and there's other ones, too, where... You look at him and go, God, that's going to be too much. Or, I just saw them on the news. Or, I just saw on Facebook so-and-so got ripped off by such-and-such. Such, or, I've got a half-ass... Ah! Cut it out, please. I said no, nope, I'm leaving it in. <laughs> or, you've got a half a wall and a contractor that's nowhere to be seen with a check running around town. Right? Yes, that is a thing that happens all the time. And that is one of the reasons that we are super pumped about our new sponsor, JCM and Sons. Right. This is not just a roofer. Uh-huh. They they do everything from gutters to windows to roofs to doors, patios. Every, you've literally named off every piece of a house. They do remodeling. They do new construction. Yes. They're licensed. They're insured. They're bonded. And you're not going to talk. How many, how many companies do you talk to unless you're lucky enough to go to the Savoy? How many companies do you talk to where you're dealing directly with the owner, the president? He's not just the president. He's also a member, not some salesman from out of state that doesn't know you and doesn't know what the real weather's really like here. You're going to talk. You're going to talk to Jeremy on the phone, one to one or in person or, or in person. Internet. But he's passionate about their work. 
he's committed to providing award-winning customer service. I think the biggest problem with a lot of home repairs, home yeah. remodels, is the process. Oh, yeah. Like, it's a pain in the neck. You know, if, if you're doing something with your bathroom, how long are you going to be without your bathroom? Right. Like, holy crap, this family can't go with one bathroom or no yeah. bathroom. And the neighbor's going to get tired of seeing your kids for a number two. The nice thing about JCM, they they give you a step-by-step plan. Mm-hmm. It's all timed out. Your project manager is going to keep you in the loop at every step of the project. And more importantly, they're always going to be around providing you support and maintenance as needed. So with that being said, we literally listed off every reason why you should go with JCM and Son. But let's sweeten the deal, shall we? Yes. If you mention that you heard it here on the Only an OK Show, we're going to give you 500 bucks off. We're going to give it to you. We're going to give it to you. Not JCM. (laughs) We're actually going to go pay him the money. And then take a picture showing us handing him the money. But no. If you want to take advantage of that offer, text 405-308-7365 to schedule a free consultation. Again, that number is 405-308-7365. Or hit them up online at jcmandsons.com. We love Tulsa. We do love Tulsa. We love comedy. You bet. Did you know that Rodney Carrington is from Tulsa? I did. I love Rodney, and I can't tell, can't sing any of his songs. I'm not allowed to, and I'm not allowed to. Yeah, he's a really funny guy. He is a funny he's guy. He's funny. But I had no idea that he was from Tulsa, and I love finding these little factoids mm-hmm. as we're doing these shows. People that I've looked up to, followed them forever, and had no idea that they were from right down the road. I feel like we're giving one away if I say this. All right. But if I told you this next thing, you probably wouldn't believe it either. Did you know, and I've been there, that Sam Kennison is buried in Tulsa? I did not know that. So, yeah. Well, yeah, I, that's a different show. But, yeah, I do like it. When, it. when you think about it, we talk about it all the time. Or not all the time, but celebrities from Oklahoma that are actually from Oklahoma versus aren't. Yeah. The fly I mean, and too, Rodney but... did live in Texas for a while and he's done some, but he Tulsa's home. Yeah. In fact, he did a, t- a sitcom called Rodney that was based in Tulsa about his journey to becoming a comedian, which it didn't last long, but yeah, I love Rodney Carrington. He's so funny. He also has six albums. I did not realize that he had done that much work. One of my favorite songs he does is, Beep, 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 beep. I can't say it. <laughs> I can't say it. I don't think there's any Rodney Carrington song that could actually make it onto the show. There's not. And have you keep your promise about keeping it PG? Keeping it, yeah. I, I, there's nothing else that can be said other than he's a funny guy. He is a funny guy. Uh, we'll include a link in the show notes to Rodney's work. But again, Tulsa Sun, love it. I'm, t- I'm also a Tulsa Sun. One day, I will be on the list of celebrity from T-Town. Watch. <laughs> well, we do have some feedback to talk about. Dude, we're just, we're slaying it. Remember that time you made up, we can say it now because we're more popular now, because we're not desperate for listeners, but remember that time you made up the feedback from, uh, what was his name? I can't re- Rick Flair, and you were like, woo, you guys are great. <laughs> I don't remember that. You guys... When Nature Boy listens to a podcast, he only listens to the only an okay show. <laughs> Woo! You remember that? When you pretended to be Ric Flair? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. You have me going for a second. I'm like, what are you talking what about? Yeah, I know. You had to delete the part out where you said, I don't believe you. Beep, 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 beep. Did that. <laughs> so, in reference to our video that we did about Tucker Cemetery, uh-huh. one of the videos that we did about Tucker Cemetery, Hallie Marin reached out. Oh, yeah on Facebook, and she has a suggestion. Has a suggestion. That's literally, how dumb do you, you're going to read this, and we need to talk about how dumb. Yes. She said check out the abandoned cemetery on 29th Street in (laughs) Chickasha, (laughs) and it took me a minute to realize that I could probably throw a rock to that place. Uncle Rico could throw a football to the cemetery from here. But she sent over pictures. It's... I mean, it's it's sad. Honestly, you know, it's there's 
it's there's nothing left of it you know some broken tombstones and stuff yeah but i really love the fact that she she went out here and she took pictures sent them over to us to let us know that there was a place close to us like dude can we explain your i know you're kind of over stating you could throw a rock from there but literally you could stand on the corner down here and practically see it from here I could hit it with a BB gun from here. You probably could, but you'd have to aim around the dentist office that's literally right there. <laughs> it is. Yeah, but 100% love the feedback, love the extra effort. Nobody goes to the effort of sending additional pictures and GPS coordinates. <laughs> but here's the thing. if When she realizes what we mean about how close... Literally, we can make a PBJ and sam- PBG sandwich not have it eaten by the time we got there. Yeah, it's. I can't believe that we didn't know it was there. It, you can't see it from the road, so I, I think it's a it's a great find. And I guess we're gonna have to do another cemetery video. I'm guessing next Thanks, week, Hallie. After we do Savoy Round Two, uh, we're gonna have to do the cemetery video. Savoy Round Two, Electric Boogaloo. Electric Boogaloo. God, that pastrami sandwich, dude, off the charts. But hey. Video on Video the internet. On the find internet, it. Find it. Why are you copying me? Why are you copying me? <laughs> um, see what happens there. Do you see what happens? Membership has its privilege. That that's not just something you say when you you know flash your Sam's Club card. When you're with the Only an Okay Show and you follow all of our social media, then you might luck into a new T-shirt. You might luck into a new T-shirt. Well, currently, right now, and if they're listening, uh, we'll see. We were going to pick one. I don't think we can pick one. I think if you're smart enough to do the work, your due, dil- due diligence, you follow instructions. We're giving away a boatload of t-shirts. I'm mansplaining. I feel yeah. like I'm mansplaining. So we had a live stream on TikTok the other day, and we had some goals in place, and it turns out that a whole lot of people like watching Brett live on TikTok. Listen. And like watching a, a, an orange <laughs> square. square. orange square. Listen, tell me right now that I didn't dispel any, what's the word I'm looking for? I know you didn't believe what was possible in there. You had to see it for yourself. I don't agree with the the level of, I don't agree with what happened on the video, <laughs> but I do agree that everybody that's getting a t-shirt earned it. Earned it. So I think the moral of the story is if you like what we do and you don't want to miss out on something like a free t-shirt uh-huh. or a meetup or forcing Brett to go into water or forcing Harley to go up in a balloon yeah. to scare the living hell out of them, then you need to follow us yeah. every, everywhere that you do, every, everywhere that you you do media on the mm-hmm. internet. Wherever you're social and wherever your media is. Follow us, like Everywhere. us, share us. Love us. And then you won't miss out on the secret stuff. And there's some secret stuff. Like, the only an okay show will never tell you to drink more Ovaltine. We're not going to make you wait till the end of the show, give you your, you, have you break out your secret decoder ring, and all it says is drink more Ovaltine. We're not going to do that. No, it'll say something cool like, Harley and Brett are going to have pizza at Decentio's. Meet us there. Come with. Yes. Ooh, secret meetups. You have to, you gotta, you gotta play along to get an invite. You gotta know to, you gotta, you gotta be in the know to get the to go. Uh huh. You All gotta right. be in the know or you're a no go. Yeah. What you thought I was gonna say? You thought I was gonna say something else. Yes, I did. And that's horrible of you to say or think. Anyway. <laughs> Listen, we've told you every we, we we told you eight six ways to Sunday how to reach us, how to follow us. Only an okay show everywhere that everywhere. there is internet. Everywhere and everywhere there's facial hair. That's where we're at. <laughs> this has been the only an okay show. <laughs> new shows every week, new content all the time. New I beards. Am, no, you got to step on it. Go for it. New beards all the time. Go ahead. I've been Harley. And I've been Brett, and we're out of here. Peace.
I'm just sitting here about to record a podcast and nobody wants to record with me. Hey, hey kid, come here and sit down. Let me tell you a secret. First of all, don't use drugs. They're bad for you. Okay? Secondly, you have to drink stuff to live. You should drink more alcohol. And you should probably not be judgmental about it. So people that are trying to just get the hydration. It's liquid for your body. You probably have. See, and just like that, just like that, I'm not drunk no more. And three, two, are you ready? Mm -hmm. One. And welcome to the show. Today we're discussing one of the best haunts in the country. And it's right here in Tulsa, seriously. And after the break, we're going to do just some other shit. I was on a roll, man. No, you were not on a roll at no point in time. I was I was trying so hard not to go today that I just kind of went. Are we ready? Are we ready? I am. Three, two, one. 